so back up the cathedral. One of the many ways up the cathedral. Tatty old carpets. Still, the place is maintained enough that the candelabras are intact. And here we are, I think, on the floor where the giants are. Also these thieves. They don't live very long anymore. Hey, it's a lever. Oh. Okay, another one of these. Now I can do that, I guess. Oh, and that would have given me somewhere else I could walk across? Or is that not working? Not the point. Oh, hang on, I can just walk through here, I think. Yes, I can. Not sure if I should, but I can. The giants, on the other hand, certainly can't get through. It's poison. So I'm actually segmenting off the cathedral floor into areas I can pass, but my enemies might not be able to. That's good. Oh, and that's bad. You gotta have good things and bad things, basically. Okay, so. At least this part of the water is clean. Oh, it also keeps the clean water away from the filthy stuff, I guess. That's nice. Although I think that might have been happening already. Ah, <sighs> Great Shield Cathedral Knight. Oh, but what he doesn't know is my stats are higher now. That will surely make this trivial. No, it actually is making it trivial. Nice. Cathedral Knight Great Shield. Well, if I feel like trying out Great Shield myself at any point, I might use that. I don't know if that will happen. This bridge, is it a, a bridge or just a gate? I can't get to that end of it, so it's not really a candidate for being a bridge. Like I've been up there, I know you can't get out of the box. There's so much poison here. Oh man. If I go near this giant, will he just kill me while I slowly get poisoned? I'm thinking, yes. What if I run across here instead? Jesus, this horrible muck. I don't like this. It even prevents me from rolling properly. I like the way their heads clatter to the ground. Hmm. It's interesting, but at some point I've got to actually try getting past the giant to those doors. Or I could go a different direction. That might be advisable. Even if not advisable, it is advised, I think. I'm advising it. Did I come out of here before? Yes. I have no desire to once again fight the Great Shield Knight in there. Hmm. Oh, he's woken up. Hello. Are you, uh... You okay? A lot of chains on you, bro. Ah. Uh, see you around. Hmm. So I've, I've lowered both of these gate... Oh, sorry, raised both of these gate things, dividing up the area. There's another giant here. But I can also explore here. Looks like yet another gate could be raised. What an interesting place. Why exactly do they have a cathedral that's filled with water and divided into sections? What is the purpose of this? I'm vaguely alarmed by it. Like, why? Why did they build this? Why would you do that? I don't get it. Hmm. I think I want to get past this giant who is seemingly asleep 
Yeah, a sleep, a seam. What if I kind of walk around the lab? Hello. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thought that might happen. Okay, now he. Did he splash water at me? But like filthy water. And then he goes and lies back down again. Well, it's all very well for some. Hmm. The heck is this? It's just goop. And I thought I'd never get a four hit combo off. How to proceed? I'd run, except you can't run in this stuff. Maybe I've just got to go for it. I'm taking a risk here, but I guess I'll just try and dodge under the giant, basically. It seems pretty... Oh god, a slug thing dropped down. But I made it. Okay. Cool. So, oh shit. This is the place where I kept saying, oh, that must be a boss fight. <laughs> Let me just summon someone in case that's true. It'll probably fail though. I've been having really bad luck with uh, the ability to summon people good or evil recently. Like people keep trying to invade me and it fails for them as well, which fine, I guess that's positive technically. Oh, well, that's one person got summoned. Greetings, Dinderoth. How do you feel about knights and priests? You've come to the right game if you're a fan. But if you don't like giants, you may have some troubles. And Dinderoth seems friendly enough. I judge people's friendliness by how willing they are to smite my enemies. What is this? Sorry. Oh, it's another one. Cool. Nice job. I don't even know what to do here. Walk around, fight enemies, look at things. Waste Dendroth's time. Seems good. Oh, an elevator. Could this be a shortcut to somewhere? Oh, it is. It's a shortcut to somewhere I've already been. <laughs> yeah, I wondered how to access that. Ah, okay. I've, I've opened that already. Um, now what? Oh, he's going somewhere. I might as well follow. Well, Dendroth probably doesn't realize is I've come from over there already. Why are we heading in this direction? I don't know. Kill slugs, I guess. Oh, I did want to know if this other bridge would be useful as a bridge. It doesn't seem very progressive, that's all. My erstwhile partner gone. By partner, I mean the guy whose time I'm not respecting. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, that's no bridge. Well. Oh, we've been invasioned. That's not good. Why is he leading me this way? Maybe he thinks I don't know about Rosaria. Well. I'm willing to play along for the sake of having someone help me fight off an invasion. But we can't go in there, obviously. So we'll have to go back this way and see. Aha! Did 
Time for whipping odds. Oh, what? I got bleeded. That's unfortunate. Timing. I thought I got in there, but I didn't. This guy's um, dodge flash trick thing. I've seen someone else use that before in PvP. It's very effective. No, 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 stop yelling, please. Oh, shit. Ah. Uh. <laughs> he thought he was going to get me there. And he thought I was going to attack there, and he tried to parry. It's funny how two-on-one this guy is just wrecking us. Like, he's clearly so much better than me and Dendoroth combined. <laughs> But it is two on one, so he might still lose. Hmm. Cripes. Seems to take uh, very low damage. <laughs> Maybe due to items or powers or something. I don't know, stats. Hey! Thank you. Nicely done, friend. I mean, you're yeah, arguable friend. Alright, so, um, usually someone who leaves a soapstone sign down wants to get someone to fight a boss so they can get a reward for it, right? Although, a white phantom, I'm not sure what kind of reward they would even get. Um, okay, he's, he's taking me somewhere. But why? I can't go in here. There's no point. Like, I don't even know. Yeah, I'm just going to kind of ignore Denderoth's imprecations there. Okay, he's realized the same thing. Yeah, we got to head out. Of course I've been saying he, but uh, in Lothric, is Denderoth a male or a female name? No, probably it isn't. Probably not a name from Lothric. Although one thing about this game is um, the unkindled who wake in the Cemetery of Ash may well actually be from this country. Normally not the case. Okay, so let's head back out to giant country. And here, there is a big old altar thing. Might have things behind it, yeah? Oh, it does, it's a passage. I think there were other passages I missed too, but oh shit, that looks bossy, doesn't it? Although, there's a fog door here. Well, deacons of the deep. Oh shit! <laughs> And I'd been talking about how weak these priests were. Well, they are, but... <laughs> That's so cool! It's the entire clergy who have to fight. All of them. It's a cool fight. Now I'm really feeling like having a great sword is the right idea. Deacons of the Deep. I think there's one of them who's like the guy with the hit points though. Like the one with red on him. Because that's where the main hit point bar is. So probably to attack other ones, um, they probably just regenerate. Yeah, they do. So you gotta hit whoever's got the red light. This is a cool fight. Oh shit, a lot more deacons just turned on. And 
fact, this one's like a blue mega deacon or something. Where's the red lighted one? Nice. Small doll and a soul. Thank you for your help. It was pretty effective. You successfully led me to somewhere I already knew about, helped me kill an invader, and then we did a boss together. That's friendship. Technically, it's not real friendship since he wasn't a warrior of sunlight, but you know. Not everyone can be true bros. Well, I can't find a way out of the deacon's room. Look at them all up there. But what I did find was this. A small doll from the city of Irithyll. Irithyll? Wherever you go, the moon still sets in Irithyll. Wherever you may be, Irithyll is your home. So Irithyll's in the Boreal Valley, and that's where Aldrich left for. But how do I get to the Boreal Valley? Oh, there's something here. Nice. Archdeacon stuff. Holy garb, crown is good. I wonder what I'd look like with an Archdeacon's crown. One of the three Archdeacons of the Deep cast off his white crown and left the cathedral to stand by Aldrich. Stand by his men as he did what? Eat human flesh. Ha! That looks interesting. I think it goes well with the other thing I'm trying out here, which is I'm trying out a new weapon, the Bushy Katana. It is a katana. It's cool, I guess. Not as powerful as the Hollow Slayer Greatsword, but, you know, very stylish. You know, short, sharp cuts and everything. Perhaps I'll even... Was there an Archdeacon equivalent of these? No. Archdeacons do... Oh, uh, cleric gloves. It looks okay-ish. Not great, but okay. Yep, let's try this. So, I don't know where Irithyll is, or how to get there, or the Boreal Valley. Uh, but I do know there's one great big door on the other side of this cathedral, which I didn't go through. That's where the other giant was. Getting past it seems difficult. Whoa. That's unfortunate what's happened to me there. Uh, do I really want to go out this way? No. On the other hand, I didn't want that to happen to me either. Gosh, we're just making a ton of compromises today. Still. Oh, you know what? Um, I should probably take that elevator out of here, the one which was revealed to me by friend to something, I forget his name, because presumably it is likely a good way to proceed. Um, I can't find it. Ah, whatever. I'll just jump off. I hope this doesn't just kill me. That would be quite unfortunate. It didn't. It didn't kill me at all. I'm completely alive. Okay. I really wish I had a way to deal with those giants. Maybe if I shot lots and lots of arrows at them? Hmm. It's an open question. Yo. Katana. Not quite as impressive a backstab as what the um, Hollow Slayer Greatsword puts together, but it was fast. So there's the doors I mean. That's where I want to be, I believe. I think. Maybe. I mean, for sure it's a place I want to be. It may be that it's not the way I need to be. Hmm. 
Hmm. It doesn't use much stamina to attack, but it's not that fast either. The thrust is good. What about two-handed style? That's how a katana is really meant to be used, so that's a good combo. Yeah, that's not bad. Okay, it's time to cast myself into ruin. Yeah, I've awakened the giant. Gosh darn. This is gonna be so bad. It kind of already is so bad. It's it's very bad right now. Okay. Good news, I can open this door. And there's another door on the other side. Hopefully I can also open that one. More good news. Oh gee, I just saw my own eyeballs. Rick, um... You need to be in a better graphics engine. <laughs> Saint Bident. Nice! I'm out of that accursed place. Will this lead me to the Boreal Valley? Homeward burn. If not, I guess I'll be heading to Farron Keep. Huh. Did I miss something? Perhaps I did. Perhaps I didn't. Doesn't seem like there's a way to go beyond here. Alright. There's the undead settlement. There's the tower which leads to the road of sacrifices. Here's the cathedral of the deep. There's the high wall of Lothric. Presumably down there under the bridge is the Boreal Valley. And that would be Farron's Keep in the distance. So Farron's Keep may well be the way to reach it. It's all just geographical speculation. <laughs> 